what's going on guys your boy turbot reacts here and i am back with another reaction of evangelion great series so far two episodes in learned a lot so far um i'm in a little bit of pain recording this um well not a little bit it's a lot of pain that i'm doing this um recording with i can i can barely move my right side the right side of my torso it's a lot of pain um as a you know i don't think it's an internal thing i think it's a muscle i think i pulled um a muscle like right under my arm and it's really really bugging me and i'm planning to go i i, I was second guessing of doing these recordings um to just but I said and put some ice on it and stuff like that and just get these recordings done because I don't want to be off schedule again. So I'm doing this for y'all, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to so if you see me grimace a little bit, you know what I'm saying? My facial expression, you know, if I laugh, it hurts. If I cough, it hurts. It's if I move too sudden, it hurts. So I'm trying to sit up and be still for as for as much as possible during these reactions because um, but if I have to laugh, it's not going to be anything drastic. I can't laugh like I usually do because I'm going to have to try to hold it in and try to limit myself today. Cause even though you see me like moving like this, it hurts. You get what I'm saying? So it's, um, but this anime, man, it's definitely, definitely you guys have not steered me wrong with this one. It's definitely, um, I already see why people like it. I already see um, I don't know this, the full story yet, of course, but it's just gearing up. I love when anime start off like this because you kind of get the, the feeling, the atmosphere that they were going for when, um, when they were writing it, when the, the guy or the girl was writing this, um, story, right? So I'm definitely looking forward to what we've learned. We kind of like, I got tricked in the last episode. I thought, he lost the battle, but he actually won the battle. Um, see, I, I'm trying to figure out if the EVA has a mind of his own because he seemed like he was knocked out when he was in there and he didn't even remember what happened. So somebody um, had informed me, one of my subscribers informed me that um, they have some sort of connection i think that is a question that i asked um if they have some sort of connection if it you know what i'm saying like if it's just a control if 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 they're just controlling a robot rather than they don't have any like physical connection to the robot you know if it's anything like um the situation with um what's the name of this anime um darling in the franks um darling in the franks um, it was a new anime. I think it came out last year. Um, didn't like how it ended, but it's it's a, it's bas it's a mecha anime in 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 the most basic parts of it. But it wasn't that that really carried the story. It was more of like you know the emotional parts of it, the story that they were trying to tell. Um, you know, but it needed two people to operate because it's like connected to their to to them physically right so it takes their energy to operate the mecca so i'm wondering if it's the same thing here as in they have it's not just jumping into a robot and you know controlling a robot like how you would have like in in, in um in um in code geass where you have the nightmare where they're just robots you get what i'm saying like you can just eject at any time there's no there's no connection to like their their brain or their central nervous system or any or anything like that you get what i'm saying so it's like it's totally different in cold Geass. but in but for here yes they have some sort of connection man that launch process is long as hell they need to cut that shit <laughs> you know but yes but it was pretty awesome to see man um you know still don't like that of the year um shinji's dad is a deadbeat definitely a deadbeat um he doesn't care not one he doesn't give two shits about his son so i'm definitely not down with that and um um old girl that took that took him in 
you know, um, really, really, really respect her for that. The captain, um, I don't know her name yet. I'm still trying to get around the names. I'm watching so many different shows, man. Just trying to remember all these different names. It's just like, I'm trying to compartmentalize these, this stuff in my brain, you know, so plus having to deal with my day to day things that I have to deal with. It's just, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not complaining. I'm just saying, <laughs> right? So, but it's, it's awesome though. It's awesome. This anime is really, really growing on me. Um, so let's see how it continues, man. Episode three, go ahead, click that link in the description. Guys, I want you to, to watch these intros. I know that you guys, I know that my anime community, I don't have no problem with, with you guys, but because I know you guys watch this stuff because I look at the retention rate um, for these videos and they're fine. You guys are watching the intros, the reviews. Most of the time, it's like probably not 80, 90% of the video you guys are watching. So I don't have no problem with y'all, but I'm just reminding y'all because I'm trying to do this on every video now where I'm telling you guys, just watch the thing. Just watch it. It doesn't cost you anything to watch it because I can I don't have the actual episode. I can't put the actual episode on YouTube. You guys come here. Um, I don't want you guys to just come here and just click on the link, go watch the reaction, and then don't go back to the video to watch the review or anything like that. Support the videos on YouTube, and I will continue to do the Google Drop up that because if the channel is not growing. It makes no sense for me to continue this doing reactions. I'm telling you this right now. It's just like before when I was telling you guys, if you guys do not interact with the videos, leaving likes and comments, it does not really make no sense for me to be doing this because that's the way to grow the channel, right? If the channel is not growing and it's just sitting at 1.2 thousand subscribers, why do I keep, why would I keep doing this? You know what I'm saying? Because you guys would have already watched all everything on the channel so you, you get what i'm saying like if i'm just gonna put out new content like just for the the, the 1000 subscribers like is it really worth it you get what i'm saying i would do it don't get me wrong if you guys support the videos in turn that will get me to do more you get what i'm saying if you guys support the videos in the ways that i ask you to do it um you know, then it will encourage me to do more. But if the channel is stagnant, if I'm putting out continuously doing, putting out content, I know somebody said something the other, um, um, a couple of my uh, IPO videos, I think the last IPO video, somebody was like, this channel is really underrated. And it is, it, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that's not true. I am enjoying my growth, but this channel is really underrated because I'm putting up prime content i'm not charging anybody to do these google google drive uploads because i know i'm not asking you guys for any for any money or anything like that because i could easily set up the patreon and whoever supports it supports it and whatever the situation is that's how it goes i could do that but i decided against it because i've talked about this a lot of times in the past so thank you guys for watching man just make sure you support the videos watch the videos all the way through i know as i've said before i have zero problems with my anime people it's my tv show people that is giving me issues right now my tv show people seems like they're just clicking on the videos and just going straight to the react clicking the link in the description um so i had to address that because i can see how people are watching the videos individually, right? If you don't know about vidIQ, check it out. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. As always, go ahead and watch your reaction. I'll see you back here for the review. All right? See y'all. See y'all. All right, what's going on, guys? Well, I just finished watching Evangelion episode three. It was confusing a bit there at the end. Um, but I'm going to try to, uh, as I said, I'm in a lot of pain right now. So I'm trying to, I, I made sure I didn't take any uh, painkillers before I did these reactions because I didn't want to be, you know, a, in a loopy in any way um the 
from my understanding of what's going on here, okay, so there was another emergency. Um, as I said, during the reaction, I was wondering, why do they keep trying to shoot at this thing um, with some regular ass weapons? Th these things are tanking nukes, unless there's different levels to them, which is not something that they're explaining at all. If there's different levels to these angels, like, is there like a, a, a tier to them? Like, these are some um you know god tier some you know what i'm saying like it's just just uh um is there a a red emergency a yellow emergency you know what i'm saying like there's no tears to them so i'm wondering if all of them are considered like in the same category why do they keep trying to shoot some regular ass weapons at these things when they know it's not going to do anything you know so just try to keep them at bay somehow, but the, those bullets are not going to do it. You know, what are these angels after? There's nothing explained. This looks like, okay, these things are coming from somewhere. And what it, what what is their plan? Why do they only come in once? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many questions that I have. You know what I'm saying? But um, Shinji's journey is going to be interesting. I see that him being in school... Um, and then the guy that his family got, his sister got caught up in the last battle. And he kind of blamed finding out that Shinji is the one that's actually piloting the EVA. Kind of blamed Shinji, beat him up, whatever. And then it ends up that Shinji had to save him because him and this fan guy with the camera decides to go out there to watch this battle to see um, these battles in action because he's obsessed with these things right so you always got that one guy that's like you know like i gotta see i gotta catch this man i gotta see this it's too good to miss because they censor it for the kids they censor the news for the kids um so that even though they know what's what's going on they don't really see what's going on you know what i mean so so i'm interested to see if him and this if Shinji is going to actually have a friend now, um, which would be cool, which would be better for him because he's, he's Shinji is one of those characters is like, he's been thrown into a situation. And one real thing he ever said was that I didn't do this by choice. Like I'm not doing this by choice. Okay. Um, he's just like, he's just doing what he's told, you know, He's not doing this out of a sense of obligation or nothing like that. It's just like, okay, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, and at some points you're thinking maybe he's doing it because he doesn't want the girl, the other girl, the other pilot to be injured anymore because they're putting their, she did, they don't care. They're putting her in there with all these injuries. They don't care if she survives or not. They give, they could give two shits about these pilots and they're just like 15 year old kids you know what i mean so it's it, it's crazy and there's another question too why is it only maybe they have to be that young like i i need a clearer explanation of why these why only 15 year olds can 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 pilot these evas you know there's so many questions i have man but we're only three episodes in so it it goes without saying that i would have all these questions so thank you guys for watching man as always um it's your boy terabyte react thank you guys for watching make sure to remember to hit that like button and also leave a comment on this video let me know what you think so far of this anime it it, it it's it's intriguing because I want to know more, right? I still want to know more. But thank you guys for watching, man. It's been real. This episode was um, just us getting to understand where Shinji's mind is at um, and how he thinks about the situation. You know what I'm saying? He's Because he, it's not like... Uh, he, he feels like he has some... I don't know if he has an obligation to protect the 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 kids that were there because they're not his friends they just beat him up he was asking himself the same question like why am i here again you know what i'm saying so there's a lot to be answered man and i'm looking forward to it um to say the least i'm enjoying 
um this anime so far because it makes you think you know what i'm saying because it's not about the fighting it's about this character you're trying to figure him out him trying to figure out himself what's going on with him so it's very intriguing so thank you guys for watching as always man I, I i'm definitely digging this anime and i can't move a lot as you guys can see man i'm just i'm a bit out of it but thank you guys for watching this is your boy terabyte reacts man peace